The eyes of the world are on London this morning as the nation there says goodbye to Queen Elizabeth II. That world leaders, including President Biden, are in London for the monarch's funeral. Eyewitness News anchor Jim Donovan is live in London where people are packing the streets for today's events. Good morning, Jim. He can hear you, right? Good morning, Natasha. Good morning, Janelle. The 10 days of mourning on behalf of Queen Elizabeth II comes to an end today. Her funeral service will be held in one hour from now behind me at Westminster Abbey. You just heard the bell toll. The bells have been tolling for the past half hour. They will be tolling once per minute for 96 minutes in honor of Her Majesty and the 11 o'clock service that's about to begin shortly. Meanwhile, overnight, uh, crowds lined the uh, route that the Queen's coffin will take later on today after the funeral service at Westminster Abbey. It will be uh, traveling past Buckingham Palace, eventually to Windsor. At St. James Park, a, uh, people were lining up there earlier this morning as well to get a glimpse of the coffin and pay their respects. Yesterday morning we come up here and it's just, we had to do it, you know, it's, um, she's been around a long time, we thought, out of respect, we've just got to come and support this day, no matter what, you know, it's a special day. Now, again, that was uh, outside of St. James Park. Uh, I will tell you right now, the, the roadways, a lot of the roads uh, around the Abbey and around Westminster Hall are completely blocked off. There's a tremendous police presence, military presence. Besides the bells in the background, we're also hearing bagpipes. Uh, they are bringing all the foreign dignitaries to the Abbey in coaches, uh, bus coaches, and uh, it's uh, right behind us, but it's difficult to see where they are from our perspective. Uh, the president, and Mrs. Biden are expected here in a short time. Uh, we're not expecting them to be on a coach. We're expecting some form of limousine procession to come by behind us, and we'll keep you up to date on that. But uh, for the time being, live from Westminster Abbey, Jim Donovan, CBS 3 Eyewitness News, live back to you in the studio. All right, Jim, and we saw as you were talking a live shot from inside of Westminster Abbey which is right there behind you, of course, with some of those dignitaries walking into the Abbey. So this is a special event, VIP crowd. Only select a few were able to get tickets to this event. That's correct. So 2,000 people were invited to attend, among them 500 dignitaries, um, a very specific guest list. Last night, uh, King Charles III and the Queen Consort Camilla held a reception for those dignitaries at Buckingham Palace. Um, and then today, after uh, the funeral service here at Westminster, uh, the Queen will be laid to rest in Windsor Castle in a private ceremony over there in St. George's Chapel, uh, where she'll be laid to rest next to her uh, husband, Philip, who passed away last year. All right, Jim. We'll see you in a little bit. Thank you for that. And as you mentioned, President Biden and First Lady Jill Biden are in London for today's funeral. This is video of them from yesterday as they paid their respects to the Queen while her coffin was lying in state inside of Westminster Hall. They also signed the condolence book there, expressing their th sympathies to the royal family. The Bidens also joined a long list of world leaders that attended that reception hosted by King Charles that Jim just referenced. And we'll be bringing you live coverage throughout the morning. As the world says goodbye to the Queen, we'll check back in with Jim in the next half hour. And then CBS News begins special coverage of Her Majesty's funeral at 530.